it's high time for a Todd update. Brazil edition. Okay, so it's been a long time since I've done a video and a lot's changed. First off, I have a haircut and I've kind of changed the beard a little bit. Second of all, I'm in Brazil, as you might be able to tell. Although people kind of wear these all around the world, so that might not have given it away. What I might give it away is The Hobbit. It's Oh Hobbit here. I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, but, okay, the reason I'm here is because my partner is Brazilian, so I spend a bit of time here every year. The bad part about being here is that I don't get to play upcoming I don't get to play the games because first of all I don't have uh, most of the consoles here I have my an old Xbox 360 and I have an old Wii uh, that's all I actually have in Brazil um, which means that the games like The Witcher 3 I'm not going to be able to play for probably another couple maybe another two or three months uh, so I have actually been using my time here in Brazil to um, play I've, I already played the majority of The Witcher 2 on PC and I'm actually now playing The Witcher 3 in, in its entirety on 360 uh, which actually Actually, before all the PC game master race people out there start start exclaiming, no, don't play it on the 360, you'll ruin it for yourself. That's actually what I really like to talk about today. Because since I can't play games and therefore can't really review new games, although I might actually do kind of retrospective witch reviews um, while I'm here, but because I can't play new games, I thought I'd do some uh, some different stuff uh, during while I'm here in Brazil. And the first thing I want to do, yeah, is talk about the console slash platform wars. So first of all, disclaimer, even though, as I said, I only have a Wii and a X360 here in Brazil, I actually own uh, an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, a Wii, a Wii U, and a high-end gaming PC. Disclaimer over. Furthermore, I, for most of my life, have had 2020 vision. And in recent, I, I've always struggled to see the grand differences between the platforms and started to wonder, I actually started to question myself, have I deteriorated vision? To the point that I thought maybe I now needed glasses. Turns out one eye has deteriorated a tiny bit and the other one is completely perfect. I now have 2019 vision. I practically have perfect vision and I own all the consoles. Basically, I don't have a horse in this race. And I think that the platform wars and the console and resolution wars and frame rate resolution wars are an absolute load of rubbish basically i cannot see okay that's, that's it's, i won't say i can't see any difference i can see very little difference between xbox one playstation 4 and pc and that goes from every that goes from indie titles all the way up to the witcher 3. there is very little difference yes it is there if you put them side by side you can see the f finer finer little details like uh like blades of grass they do look finer on a pc anti-alien scene yes that's a real thing i admit that exists and it is better on the pc but unless you actually put them side by side you really cannot tell if you uh, i mean i remember um um, was it, I can't remember which, which one's Cam and which one's Seb, but one of the guys who've just recently left GameSpot did um, did a bit did a, a test on this um, and basically proved essentially that people literally will see what they want to see. Um, frame rate, there is no difference whatsoever between 30 FPS and 60 FPS. I cannot see a blind bit of difference. Now I know I'm going to get a huge amount of hate for that, but it's true. I cannot pretend that I can see something that I cannot see. Okay, so I usually game, believe, I have, like I said, so the current generation is Xbox One, PS4, um, Wii U, and PC. Obviously, Wii U I just use for exclusives because um, that's all, that's really all, that's all we use for, I guess, is for Nintendo first party games. Um, PS4 and Xbox One and PC. Obviously, exclusives I get on the relevant system, for uh, for multi-platform games, I get almost everything on the Xbox One. Why is that? Because I like the interface of the Xbox One. I really like the 360, and I've kind of got that little bit of brand loyalty. And also, most importantly, I really like achievements. Um, I've got for, like a huge number of achievements on my gamer card, whereas my trophies and Steam achievements are, I don't know, they're just so-so. I don't play, I don't game on those systems as much. Um, Yes, I, I'm, and I completely am aware, 100% aware, that the Xbox One has a lower resolution for almost every multi-platform title in the PS4 and the PC. But I simply cannot see 
a noticeable difference. Like I said, if you put them side by side, some games side by side with lower resolution on the Xbox One, I think look better on the Xbox One. But like I said, I don't have a horse in this race. I have all the systems. I could choose to buy anything on anything. And I still just cannot convince myself that there is a big difference between them. And the the draw of the of building my gamer score, um, that kind of sort of addiction I have, is completely outweighs the minuscule difference I would get. I saw a diagram once which shows how big a TV it needs to be, how big a screen needs to be, and how close you need to be to it to start seeing differences even between 720p and 1080p. I'm not pretending I understand the exact science of that. I'm not going to say that is accurate or not, but it. it it, it does seem you have to be pretty damn close to a pretty massive screen to really start getting benefits. I mean, don't get, even get me started on 4K. What? I, I just don't get the point of that. As somebody who owns all the consoles and has only a couple of weeks ago been reassured that I don't need glasses and my vision is perfect, I don't see the, the difference. So. The message is game on what you want to game on. Uh, don't don't get into don't don't get into these platform debates. They're all absolutely f absolutely fine. You're not getting a diminished experience really on anything whatsoever. The only thing I will agree on, only thing I completely will agree on, is that the the um, the PC I think because it is yes it is indeed capable of of doing of achieving more. It is capable of outputting better graphics even though it usually doesn't because. Is probably yeah. I agree that the consoles possibly do hold back the PC in a certain way. I agree that if we completely eradicated consoles, then PC games probably would look even better. But if we eradicated consoles, then PC games would not be able to to break even. So we wouldn't have video games. So which would you prefer? Would you prefer a world where where we have multiple systems and everything looks basically the same on every everything, or would you prefer a world with no video games whatsoever? I'm going to call it a day here because uh, first of all, this has been more of a rant than than a kind of. Uh than a logical explanation as it was meant to be. But uh, hopefully you got my point. Also because my girlfriend is currently holding the camera because we haven't really worked out a way to do these videos here. Um, uh, I think we need to get a tripod for Brazil. <laughs> um, and also because we've had, had to turn the air condition off to uh, in order to so you didn't have a horrible drone in the background for the audio. And it's really hot even though it's supposed to be winter here. Yeah. Coming to Brazil, they said. Winter's coming, they said. Um, okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think uh, about, yeah, about platform wars, resolution, and frame rate, and all that. I know a lot of you won't agree with me, um, but you know, say your piece. Let me know what you think, and um, I will see you guys again next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Oh, Hobbit.